Hello teacher, welcome to our lesson uh, for the second time or for this time. We are in proceeding in salty analysis, our topic qualitative analysis and this is chemistry practical. Uh, loading to examinations uh, practical. And today we proceed with the uh, analysis of copper 2 nitrate. Uh, you see this is copper, copper 2 nitrate. You see the appearance. Uh, we are going to use qualitative guide sheet, this one, uh, to know how to make the analysis uh, step by step, experiment one to another up to confirmatory test. We are going to deal with on experiment, observations and the inference. The student will be able uh, to understand within this lesson and uh, to know how to write a report at the end of this, uh, this lesson. Appearance of our sample, uh, we have this one. You see the appearance of of sample. I think you see which color you observe. Uh, that is the, that is the blue uh, blue crystal, and this is the copper nitrate. So how to deal with the uh, qualitative guide sheet? Let's we we be here together to understand or to proceed. Uh, our experiment. When you perform uh, analysis of salty uh, copper 2 nitrate appearance, uh, appearance of, of our solid sample, almost you have observed the appearance is, is green. So is green, uh, that is our, our sample, that is our sample, green, and then if it's green, is crystalline is green and then represent the copper uh, and the crystalline form represent nitrate sulfate and the uh, and the chlorine so that is appearance and then when you observe a uh, copper to nitrate it means you're going to absorb uh, water from atmosphere that is the liquid so so we have two uh, uh, appearance we have uh, color text gender and uh, the liquescent property so in this report how to write you have to join this sentence and uh, this we know you will see in our uh, report analysis how these columns or rows have been joined so it's green crystalline form green crystalline form and absorb water from the atmosphere to form a solution. So we have to join this, this is the copper, and this is uh, this nitrate sulfate and chlorine, and this nitrate chlorine and the, and the sulfate. So in this we have to write nitrate chlorine uh, sulfate, and this nitrate sulfate and chlorine, we have to choose one. Nitrate chlorine and the sulfate of copper may be present, that is, appearance of our solid sample we have to give a name uh, you can call it x y q that is our sample another experiment we have a flame test flame test you have to choose one either glass a uh, glass rod or nichrome wire first you have to clean those that you are going to use if it's nichrome wire or glass rod or back of the test tube we have to dip in, uh, in concentrated sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid and then you heat in an aluminous flame before uh, putting the sample and then after you have to dip uh, cleanly uh, I'm going to use a variable apparatus which is normal uh, the test tube uh, dip a uh, clean the test tube you dip in concentrated hydrochloric acid and then uh, you you pick the sample dissolved within uh, that that concentrated hydrochloric acid and then you heat you follow these words you change in past uh, simple and then you test you see observation uh, when you perform observation according to this, this is copper you will see this observation it means bush green flame will be observed and that represents copper may be present so you see if it is colored this is not white 
it means green. We expectation, our expectation it means we want to see an ammonium, sodium, calcium, zinc, and the lead. We can't expect it to get those among of this one. So that is a copper nitrate. And then uh, after flame testing, we, get, we go to another step, uh, action of heat. Action of heat, uh, you, you, you transfer amount of solid sample in a clean and a dry test tube, have to heat uh, strongly. And then observation, if it's nitrate, you will see reddish brown. Fume evolve, which turn and will turn a moist a litmus paper if you have used but when you see reddish brown fume that is enough uh, observation to to understand or to indicate that there is nitrate uh, content and then action of heat you are going to observe uh, apart from nitrate you are going to observe the issue of residue what the residue, residue will be observed you are going to see the copper will be black will be black on a test tube and at this if you see there is black of the residue okay, when after the composition after heating that represents the copper uh, content or copper salt that is action of heat the action of dilute uh, if it's copper and uh, nitrate you are going to observe no gas you when you take your sample you take your sample uh, in a small amount you put in a test tube which is uh, dry, there is no contamination. You put dilute hydrochloric acid and then you see, you check to make sure the salty dissolve and then you see observation. If there is no any changes, no effervescence, no white precipitate, it means you have to, to put no gas evolved uh, that will present sulfate, nitrate and chlorine. And then you see there is nitrate is here. Action of concentrated uh, sulfuric acid on a solid sample. Uh, after transferring amount of sample in a clean and a dry test tube, you add the amount of concentrated and uh, you see observation. If there is no uh, reaction, you have to warm the content. And then, uh, in case of copper nitrate, we expect to get brown fume after, after warming after warming that sample we get the brown fume will be evolved and we turn moist blue litmus paper to red if you have used the litmus paper but the brown fume that is the smoke or gases evolve from the test tube to the atmosphere is enough to, to indicate that there is a nitrate content within our our salt and then solubility we are going to see the solution of the of the solute sample if it's soluble or slightly soluble or insoluble totally uh, we are going to use solubility uh, procedure you have to take amount of solid sample into a test tube and uh, you, you add enough water to see uh, if sample is dissolving or not if we sample does not dissolve you can warm the content to see there is another uh, further changes you write but uh, nitrate we have seen that is a uh, copper to nitrate that is copper which is blue we are going to observe a uh, soluble form in the blue or we are going to form blue the uh, uh, blue solution that is a blue solution that is blue solution our sample is blue not green if there is another and the point I have said the blue uh, is I have said the green that is an error but this sample is is blue I think you see and then after that represent the copper present so in this one you have to choose to choose not the blue you have correct soluble forming the blue uh, soluble forming the blue solution and the not green that represent copper ion may be present within our sample another action after solubility we are going to perform another step 
as a second after preliminary test, we go to directly to testing solution. When we say testing solution, it means we have to prepare a stock solution first. We have to dissolve a sample in water uh, to make a stock solution, and then we'll be used for further. You, you take a small amount, you test it, another step, small amount, you test it, another steps. So you transfer amount of solid sample in test tube, you add enough amount of distilled water, and then you shake it thoroughly. If the sample is does not dissolve in cold water, you have to warm in uh, in a in a luminous flame or on a flame uh, to make sure you get the hot water and you see if there is the solution. If there is uh, another sample does not dissolve in that procedure, you have to take another sample to a new test tube and then you put uh, you dissolve it in dilute nitric acid instead of water and then you perform another another procedure or another experiment so testing solution we have ammonia solution we have sodium hydroxide first uh, on a stock solution you have prepared you put uh, you put a smaller volume of sample or in sample solution you add the sodium hydroxide solution drop wise until in excess when you say uh, until in excess means there is a at least a, the large amount of sodium hydroxide solution. It means you put the first small amount and then you fill drop by drop until in excess you see observation. Uh, because this is copper we see we expect it to get the blue precipitate is formed insoluble in excess. It means there is a uh, precipitate within our our test tube which is the blue so another uh, we have ammonia solution ammonia solution testing ammonia solution it means you get no precipitate will be formed white precipitate no white gelatinous precipitate from the that is zinc and uh, our sample is is blue pale blue precipitate and then we form deep blue deep blue solution within a test tube and a naughty naughty no precipitate this is an, a mistake so our sample is copper we expect it to get that observation unless you are wrong in your procedure after testing a preliminary test and the testing solution now we are going to confirmatory testing the first thing in order to confirm your sample or your salt you have to look the reagent provided on your bench after looking you have to ask the question why there is this reagent and then you will see you will test the sample the second steps after observation of reagent in your bench you have to look the most appeared in influence inside of cations or cations and the anion in our cations there is copper it appeared too too much copper copper we have seen there is copper and the nitric copper and the nitric so you are going to look on your bench presence of a reagent which tests copper if there is a there is a reagent testing copper let's say would be uh, we have the agent testing copper there is ammonia solution the first thing you observe this one a blue precipitate is the same as in testing solution of ammonia so copper confirmed and if you see by using there is potassium ferrocyanide you will get reddish brown uh, precipitate and that will present copper to be confirmed another anion which appeared most is nitrate nitrate tested by using a uh, ferrous sulfate instead of cation ferrous sulfate uh, concentrated sulfuric acid uh, you test by using this one if there is in your bench you see this observation the brown ring will be formed at the junction of your test tube that will present a uh, nitrate or in fact nitrate and if there is copper tannins, uh, followed by concentrated, but if there is no copper tannins, 
but there is concentrated sulfuric acid that procedure is not allowed to be performed because there is a uh, in one one reagent if there is both we have to use and then our expectation of the patient is brown film will be evolved and that represent a nitric confirmed and then that is the end of our confirmatory because i think we will see another reagent there is no another reagent but if there is another reagent uh, for for a target of uh, confusing the student because this is examination it means we are going to use but we will see negative readers if let's say there is uh, there is a uh, silver nitrate for testing chlorine but our sample is nitrate uh, we are going to see how test of chlorine will be tested let's say there is chlorine and when you put you are going to get expect you to get this one for chlorine but if there is nitrate you are going to write no white precipitate soluble in x it means you are going to write negation of this sentence no precipitate from the uh, soluble in excess ammonia solution is from it means no no precipitate soluble in excess ammonia solution from the that is how to negate and if there is no white precipitate means there is another another compound and the chlorine not confirmed you have created if there is another reagent which you have been provided as a technique for you are you are answering the examinations and then after after doing the experiment you have a report for that copper to nitrate analysis the appearance of solid sample x i uh, have to write this one blue crystalline form uh, and they absorb water from the atmosphere to form a solution you see that is our our uh, report and the influence of the nitrate sulfate chlorine of copper may be present on a flame test you see how we have write the sentence in a simple past a clean the back side of test tube if you choose nichrome wire you, you substitute the test tube if you use glass rod you substitute a nichrome test tube you put what you want but the same procedure follow in this one concentrate itself and the quality acid contains sample x and then you heat on a non luminous flame bluish green flame copper may be present and uh, always this is our report for action of heat you see action of dilute uh, quality acid you see the elevation how to write you can stop and then you can write this report and uh, you, to understand more this lesson action of concentrated sulfuric acid on a solid sample our report is this one a brown film evolved i have said in a sheet there is the word evolves and the turns because i i say that this sheet prepared in always action so you have to to write on the spot if it's evolved or if it's turned you have created turned or you have created uh, evolved what do you observe don't copy and paste and paste from the words of the sheet automatically solubility of the version solve from the blue solution copper may be present and the sodium solution blue precipitate this one and the ammonia solution blue precipitate this one a how great is this one and then confirmatory test uh, there is no any in test rate confirmatory test of copper but this confirmed we infer that this is confirmatory test i think that is for end of test or analysis report for our sample copper to nitrate and the conclusion we have traced this one copper ions is cation and iron is nitrate and the chemical name you can be asked copper to nitrate chemical formula uh, you have see there above i think that is our report and if you test a uh, copper to nitrate by using this guide sheet you have uh, this is the, our answer for our questions if you have any questions our number uh, we are going to see 
the number is passing through this lesson uh, make sure you you follow from the step to another uh, from the first to the to the last point to see those number and uh, to to ask the questions if you have any question i think you understand more so we end up here that was lesson number two for salty analysis we meet to another number three and uh, another 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 salty sample thank you for learning through this uh, lesson you have a nice day you have a nice study